Today I'm going to show you how you can install hard drives into your system. Turn off your computer and make sure it's turned off completely. When the computer is off, you may remove the screws and remove one side of the chassis. Inside the computer, the hard drive can be located anywhere, but they are usually located down here in this tray. Here you can see my current hard drive. It is connected with power and a SATA cable. The power is provided from your power supply. It looks like this. You need to provide a SATA cable. It looks like this. It doesn't matter if it's rated for SATA 1, 2 or 3, as long as it has this format. They all have the same speeds. What does matter, however, is the SATA connection on your motherboard. If it's SATA 3 or SATA Express, it is the faster type. However, DVD and CD players may use SATA 1 or SATA 2. If you put a hard drive to a SATA port that usually goes to a DVD, it will work fine. But it will be limited in speed, so you want to select the fastest SATA slots for hard drives, which is SATA 3 or SATA Express, which is present on basically all motherboards. Usually there is some kind of large SATA bus, like here. And there we have installed the SATA cable in the SATA Express or SATA 3 slot. Just read on the motherboard and you can see the SATA rating on the provided slot. And there we have our hard drive. So, cases are usually provided with trays. So, put the hard drive in a tray. Just like this. This will help a little bit with vibration and will set it securely in the case. Here we have the power. You will connect the power, just like that. Here we have the SATA cable we just inserted. We'll connect it in as well. And we push it into the tray, just like that. And there we have it. We can now close the case and proceed. Well, I hope this video helped you. And if it did, please leave a like, comment below and subscribe. I'll see you next time. This is your host, Jim Odesson, signing out.